hi guys today we are going to be learning how to make bread without oven without kneading from the scratch and as usual without wasting your time let us get straight into business so you're going to start by sifting your flour into a bowl we need about two cups of flour so you're going to sift it and sifting will help your flour to be lighter and to remove whatever dirt from the flour so make sure you sift your flour in that same bowl you're going to add some sugar two tablespoons a pinch of salt you're going to mix together and now we have to mix our wet ingredients we need some warm milk so right now we are mixing together a tablespoon of our milk powder and half cup of warm water mixed together thoroughly like i mentioned warm milk so make sure the water you're using to mix this is not too hot and not too cold either if it's too cold your yeast is not going to activate and if it's too hot it's going to kill the yeast so in that cup of warm milk you're going to add two teaspoons of your yeast your active yeast and mix together and then leave it to proof and by the way in case you're wondering the yeast that i use you can use any brand of choice this is the one that i use okay just make sure it is dry and active and one good way to know if your yeast is still active is to leave it in that warm milk for like five to ten minutes and then when you start seeing bubbles on top it means that your yeast is active and is good to go if not please abort me shot okay now we also need some melted butter you guys this is how to melt your butter just get any butter of choice i'm using this cooking margarine drop in a hot pan and leave it to melt for a few seconds and here you have it your melted butter so in that same cup you're going to add about two tablespoons of your melted butter you're going to break in one egg are you following you're going to now mix together so now we have our wet ingredients and we're going to combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and we're going to form a dough with it it's so easy to make okay just make sure you watch this to the end now we're going to combine the wet and the dry ingredients together like i said before and you're going to first of all start with using a spatula if it's not doing very well drop it and use your hands <laughs> like i did okay so just mold this into a dough gently don't worry the measurement in this recipe is very accurate if you follow it step by step you will not have any issues at all i remember that we are making a no need type of bread so it's a lazy bus tie okay just make sure you get a sticky dough like this as soon as you get your dough together like this sprinkle a little bit of oil on top of it just to keep it moist and shiny when it is resting and you're going to just turn it around so that the oil can enter every corner and we're going to cover this up with a plastic wrap or with any napkin that you have just cover it up okay and leave this to rest for like one hour you can even set an alarm for it so that you will not forget and just keep checking till your dough has doubled in size okay so now we've left this to rest and you guys we are now back one hour later this is what our dough is looking like okay it's not looking smooth because we do not need it but it does not really matter okay this is a lazy man style of making bread okay so you're going to just use your hands to just press it together so that any excess bubble or hair in the bread can escape now you're going to prepare your baking dish okay so this is what i'm using just butter the baking dish you can use whatever it is that you have a small pot a small bowl that can withstand it okay now you're going to now sprinkle a little bit of flour this is going to stop your bread from sticking to your pan anyhow so make sure you don't skip this step the other alternative is to use a baking paper or a parchment paper just use whatever you have okay so now that we are done with the old buttering and the flouring of the pan we are now going to prep our dough you're going to cut this into three equal sizes depending on the style or the shape of bread you're looking for you can cut your dough into smaller sizes nine pieces ten you can make yours three like i am doing you can make your six okay so just take one of your dough you're going to now flatten it with a rolling pin <laughs> because we're about to shape this into a medium size roll for a pan so first we're going to flatten it so that it will be easy for us to shape on you can shape it anywhere you want to do it but just flatten it first now you're going to now fold the both side of your dough just like this just pay attention okay this is very easy to do just um, fold both sides and then go in with your rolling pin again and just just flatten it out So now that 
after we have our dough flattened out i hope you paid attention to the steps you are now going to just roll it in together just roll it in be careful don't rush it okay just take your time especially if it's your first time just roll it together nicely aha aha this is what your dough roll should look like okay when you're done so you're going to repeat the same step for the other two dough and drop in your pan so yeah we have it you're going to cover this dough up for like 15 minutes cover it up okay so that the thing can expand again just 15 minutes and you're back okay now we have to prepare our egg wash one egg in a bowl add a tablespoon of milk and mix it together this is going to give your bread that golden brown look on top of it so make sure you don't miss a step just mix together and then set it aside remember we are not using an oven to bake so we have to preheat our pot we are using pot to bake so bring out your pot preferably an aluminium or an old pot you're no more using again add salt yes the salt is going to act as a base and you're going to drop in any stove top any stove stand in the pot and then cover it up and leave that to eat up okay for a few minutes now our dough has risen in size as you can see you're going to brush it up with your egg wash gently okay so just brush the top just brush the top and then it's time for us to bake immediately brush the top of your dough with the egg wash don't waste time again just bake it immediately okay so drop it in your pot like this you're going to cover it up and leave this for like 15 to 20 minutes on low heat if your heat is too high your bread is going to burn so just make sure you do this on low heat and after 18 minutes this is what i have now you're going to take butter any butter of choice and just brush the top of the bread so that the top can be shining <laughs> So don't skip this step okay so this is what i have and now you're going to take it out gently okay make sure you don't burn your hand when you're taking it out and here you have it your bread without kneading your bread without an oven perfect and ready for your family to devour now that bread is expensive bar i would advise you to start thinking of how to make your own bread at home because it is so easy to make aside from the resting time can you guys see how fluffy and soft this is looking anyway if this is your first time on this channel what are you waiting for please subscribe and join our growing family okay i'm so glad to have you here my name is Tosin, and my goal is to help you become a better home cook if you have any questions please drop it in the comment section i always reply my comments okay and if there's any recipe you would like us to make next please let me know i already have a sardine bread recipe lined up i have sauces i have some juices i have you guys you guys know how we do it okay so make sure you subscribe and if there's any recipe you have in mind that you want us to learn how to make step by step let me know okay thank you so much guys for watching i am so happy to have you guys here thank you so much guys bye guys